Right now, Ray J is trending all over social media for revealing himself as a potential Diddy accomplice, claiming that he is being targeted for speaking out about Diddy. Ray J has made some damning claims about Diddy and other celebrities, but the question is, should Ray J even be trusted? Is he telling the truth or is he just being used to cast out and throw people off? Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about Ray J's claims about Diddy and whether he should be trusted. Let's get right into it. Over the last few weeks, Ray J has been making his rounds in the media. Like many people who were once around Diddy, Ray J is now speaking out about what he saw while he was around him. This is surprising because for the most part, those who have spoken out about Diddy were mostly people who weren't celebrities. But here we have Ray J coming out and making his own allegations about Diddy. While Ray J didn't confirm or deny anything Diddy did, he did claim that other victims of Diddy have reached out to him in hopes of stopping him from exposing them. He said this while doing an interview for TMZ that was used inside of the Diddy documentary TMZ released. In the interview, Ray J could be seen talking about catch and kill, which is an industry term for killing a story before it hits the media. For example, the freak off tapes that are floating around have been rumored to be stopped from coming out because of a catch and kill. A lawyer brokered a deal between the person in the video and the people who had the video to keep it from coming out. This is what's called a catch and kill. This is exactly what Ray J mentioned doing regarding the Diddy freak off parties, claiming that he was essentially offered money to keep him from from talking about what he saw other celebrities doing at the Diddy parties, claiming that they're trying to convince him not to release this information. Ray J also claims that he shouldn't have said that and that now these people are going to be mad at him, even stating that he doesn't care if they come after him. I'm hearing about artists paying victims to keep their name out of You know people who have had demand put upon them where they have paid off to keep this quiet? Here's what I do. People do catch and kill all day. And the catch and kill, I don't know if of course you know, but for the regular world, somebody has the truth, somebody pays you to keep it quiet, and hopefully that money that you got paid secures your happiness while you watch the lie continue to succeed. Well, I have to make sure I understand you. What you're saying is what? That you know people have been uh, approached by men, men, whatever, um, who have said, give me money and I won't talk? Here's the other way around that, Harvey. I'll give you money, please don't talk. You are a well-connected guy. Do you know what you've just described, that going on now? Yes. They want to talk to me. They want to talk to me about what happened to me. They call me. They feel like they can trust me. Wait a minute. Calling you? Calling you for what? Because they want to tell me about certain things happening with them and me. Ray, I, I, I want to make sure I understand. Are these high-profile people calling you because they've had some affiliation with Diddy that they don't want to come out? they think you might be vessel for it coming out. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I don't even know why I just said it, but I said it so what. Now they gotta be mad. I'm getting it. Were they specific about what they did with Diddy? I don't wanna say. As you heard for yourself, Ray J claims that some of Diddy's accomplices have reached out to him in order to silence him and keep him from talking, claiming that they offered him money to keep quiet. Ray J then claims that he doesn't care if they come after him for exposing them, something that he seems to have since regretted. It appears that Ray J wasn't lying when he claimed that there were going to be people coming after him. As just a few days back, he was pressed by Diddy's son at a Halloween party. According to Ray J and many others who were at the event, Ray J was about to get jumped at this Halloween party by Diddy's sons and their entourage. Ray J actually told WAC 100 this on a live stream, telling him that the Combs brothers were actively trying to attack him. Ray J, no, listen, listen now. Everybody been calling me and you know until you call me, I feel like there's no big deal. All right, so I'm talking to the exposure homies. They talking about the Combs is trying to rush you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They tried to rush you in Miami? In LA, man. Where? Bro, you know I'm not gonna call y'all because this could go somewhere else. And I'm like, you know, at the club, dog. But don't, you didn't have donut them with you? So, how many of them was it? Two, three, what? I don't know, like eight. Oh, so it was them and eight, and they tried to rush you for real. Yeah, but don't put this up, blood. Nah, it's going out. 
Nah, bro. It's going, it's just going out, dog. The like, question to you is, can I put the other stuff out that we've been knowing about? Nah, they, they, they too young. Like, it's like that. Like, I, I moved away from it. Like, huh? I tried, to talk some, I tried to talk some sense into, like, what happened, but I just, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, the homie Chris is here. What, wait, what Chris? Chris Brown, bro. But, well, whack, don't put this online. Bro. Nah, where's this? Oh, Nah, it's going up. It's already online. As you heard for yourself, Ray J confirms that he was about to get jumped by the Combs family, even telling Wack not to tell the media this because of how afraid he was. While this already looked bad for Ray J, things only seem to have gotten worse. Ray J now claims that someone even shot at him. He didn't say who did it, but considering the things he's talking about regarding Diddy, it seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? First, Diddy's sons try to jump him, and then someone tries to take him out. It's pretty clear to many what's going on. Ray J is obviously being targeted for speaking out about Diddy, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Is Ray J really a victim of Diddy? Is he really being targeted or is he just controlled opposition? Trying to throw people off from the truth. While Ray J is pretending to be revealing the truth, he actually hasn't revealed anything at all. All he said was that celebrities were contacting him in order to keep him from putting out information. He didn't mention what that information was or who those celebrities are either. So he didn't really reveal anything. In fact, by him mentioning that he knows things and choosing not to release them, he's pretty much protecting Diddy and all the other celebrities. Now he claims the Combs brothers were trying to jump him, but they didn't touch him. He also claims that he was shot at, but besides him saying that there isn't any proof. There's many reasons why I can't trust Ray J, and I'll tell you some of them. First, he's been in the industry for many, many years, and has partied with Diddy several times. He also admits he's friends with Diddy. More importantly, I believe Ray J not only attended Diddy's parties, but was most likely a part of those freak off events. Let me explain why I believe this. A couple weeks back, I did a second interview with the former industry publicist Jonathan Hay. For those that didn't catch those interviews and don't know who Jonathan Hay is, he's an industry insider who worked for the industry for years, working with artists like Jay-Z, Biggie's Estate, Rihanna, and even Whitney Houston. Jonathan Hay left the industry after having some issues with Drake, who he believes set him up. In that interview I did with Jonathan Hay, he made some claims about Ray J that made me realize what's exactly Ray J's purpose in the industry. According to Jonathan Hay, Ray J was allegedly recruited by Jay-Z and Beyonce to engage in Jay-Z's version of the freak-offs, claiming that Jay-Z made Ray J hook up with Beyonce while he watched like Diddy. I, I did hear those rumors, you know, and when you said Jay-Z was sleeping with, with Chris Brown, I also heard that rumor as well. Oh, so you heard a rumor of Jay-Z hooking up with Chris Brown as well? Yeah, you know, because... Like 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 Diddy, Jay Z's uh, sexual preference is uh, pe peculiar to say the to say the least. And that's another thing. You in the last interview, you said that Jay Z was by, and that you 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 were a hundred percent sure that he was. Correct. It, how do you know this? I know it from being around, and without saying, you know the 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 name of the people because. I know a lot of people don't want to be involved in, in these type of things because they've moved on in their lives or they have families and everything else. But I was there and I witnessed some very, you know, questionable behavior for sure. And like the tour that that I was on with uh, Jay-Z, they did a documentary. It was Jay-Z, DMX, Emil. Um, they made a, the, the, what was the name of the documentary? But it was that tour. And, you know, they had trans women on on the bus. Recently, I, I did a video on Jay-Z, right? And mm. I spoke about, it was actually on Pimp C. The mm. video was on Pimp C. And because his close friend, Pimp and Ken, he claims that he has a videotape that Pimp C recorded of a famous R&B singer and hooking up with another, a man that's not her current boyfriend or her current husband. And everyone in the comments said that it was Beyonce in the, in the video that Pimp C has. And in another interview he did, the Pimp and Ken, he basically admitted that the people in the comments were commenting that it was the right person. So he's basically admitted that it was Beyonce. Right. Would, would you, did you hear anything of that sort? Like, of Jay-Z having similar behavior to Diddy in the sense that 
you know, he would record, he would let his woman re- be recorded with other men or stuff like that? Well, Jay-Z 100% is a cuckold, right? He likes to watch his woman, Beyonce, with other men. Like I said, being a, being around, you know, Rock Nation and Tidal and all those things, it was it was pretty common knowledge that, you know, Jay-Z is, is the is someone like Diddy that's now out in the open that likes to watch his wife with other men. Okay. So do you, do you think that there is a possibility that that tape exists? Right. But that's interesting. So you, you're saying for a fact that Jay-Z is into, into similar behavior as Diddy. He likes to, basically what Cassie was put through. He likes to watch his girl get in relationships with other men while he sits there and enjoys himself. That's correct. And that's one of the reasons that, that we said in the, in, in the last interview when I was talking about him being, him being bi, because what else is that when you're watching, you want to watch another man with your wife and you're measuring yourself? I know it's cuckolding. I know that, I, I know all that, but like, this is firsthand information from something that I've dealt with and experience that I've dealt with that Jay-Z is definitely a cuckold and he, it's not women. It's men that he wants to see with Beyonce. You know, that's that's why I was like, he's 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 definitely bi, and that's why it was really surprising to me to see, you know, Ray J come out speaking against, you know, Jaguar Wright, and he's like Beyonce, Beyonce, oh Beyonce, because Ray J is is one of those people that is allowed to be with. Uh, Jay-Z's wife. Interesting. So you're saying essentially that Ray J is one of those men that Jay-Z would watch hook up with Beyonce, allegedly? Correct, correct. Very interesting. As you heard for yourself, Jonathan claims that he knows Ray J would allegedly hook up with Beyonce while Jay-Z watched it all go down. This right here lets you know exactly what Ray J's purpose is. If Ray J was attending the Jay-Z and Beyonce freak-offs, he was definitely attending those Diddy freak-offs as well. And considering all the pictures he has with Diddy, that's obvious. This is why if you listen to Ray J talk about the Diddy freak-offs, you won't hear him saying anything negative. He's just trying to protect Diddy. And by protecting Diddy, he's protecting himself. This has always been Ray J's position. Just think about it. One of his most famous moments was when he made a S tape with Kim Kardashian. This tape was being shown around the industry to the higher ups, being shopped around by Kim Kardashian's own mother. This is what Hollywood is up to behind the scenes. They have to blackmail each other in order to keep them from speaking out. All the new stars go through this. Chris Brown allegedly had to do the same things. Brick Baby, who's a host on a No Jumper show and was a former friend of Chris Brown, who also has a song with him, recently exposed this. According to Brick Baby, Chris Brown was allegedly recruited by Kanye West and Kim Kardashian to do the same thing Ray J did with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Brick Baby claims that Chris Brown was summoned by Kanye to hook up with Kim while he watched. Get it. Oh, look. Chris Brown gave it him too. Oh, my bad. Y'all didn't know that, though. Y'all know Kanye West once asked Chris Brown to come over and, 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 and smack Kim Kardashian in front of him. This is true talk. He called Chris Brown over because he asked Kim who got better Ray J and Chris Brown. Shout out to Chris because he knocked down Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I'm telling stories I ain't supposed to tell. I'm tired. I told you one day. Yeah, Chris Brown went to go fuck Kim Kardashian in front of Kanye. And Kanye watched. Hmm. Right. Deny that. I call Tiger right now. As you heard for yourself, Brick Baby alleged that Chris Brown had to do the same things in Hollywood. He allegedly hooked up with Kim while Kanye watched it all go down. It's interesting because even in that video, Brick Baby mentioned Ray J. Ray J is not going to snitch on Diddy because he would be snitching on himself. Ray J claims these people are reaching out to him 
to prevent him from talking. This is what they're preventing him from talking about. Ray J was being contacted by the celebrities who recruited him to hook up with their ladies while they watched. This is the secret that Ray J is keeping. He has been participating in those Hollywood freak-offs with many of those celebrities, not just Diddy. They want him not to speak out about the things he himself participated in. Ray J is literally telling us this himself when he said they're paying him to keep quiet. They don't want him to expose them for being like Diddy. This is exactly why I can't trust anything Ray J states. He is definitely controlled opposition, and it's in his best interest to hide the truth. If he does expose them, he would be technically exposing himself. Ray J is being used to throw people off. That's what he's been trying to do the entire time. All the press he's getting is taking eyes off real victims. The entire time he speaks out about Diddy, he is low-key just pretty much defending him. I think the whole Combs brothers trying to jump him and the so-called shooting were all made up. While the Combs brother probably did press him, I don't think it was as serious as they made it seem. It's pretty clear to me that Ray J is on Diddy's side. I honestly think Ray J was trying to silence Jaguar right when she was doing those interviews exposing Diddy. As I remember back when Jag did the Piers Morgan interview, he flipped out on her, telling her to reach out to him so they can speak. It looked like he was trying to get to Jag to shut her up. Hey, yo, Jaguar right. I told you I had an opportunity for you. I told you I had bags for you. I'm trying to hear what you got to say. But you want to keep taking these other money and not showing love to the community? That's weak as fuck. Hit me right now so I can make sure you get a bag and I can understand what the fuck you talking about so we'll know what's the truth and what's not. That janky as fuck ain't hitting me back, but you hitting all these other things back. That's from all these other countries. Like you safe over there. You safe with me. Stop acting scary. Jaguar, hit me back right now, whenever you can. As you heard for yourself, Ray J goes off on drag trying to force her to speak to him so he can find a way to silence her and discredit her. Now to be honest with you guys, I have been suspicious of Ray J since I found out he was allegedly the last person to see Whitney Houston the day she passed away. It was alleged that Ray J was in the room when Whitney passed on, with some people alleging that Ray J was somehow behind it. At the time, he was working with Clive Davis, and Clive had some issues with Whitney Houston. It's also alleged that Ray J had a relationship with Whitney at the time, so some people think that Clive might have gotten Ray J to play a part in her demise. This is why Ray J can't be trusted or even taken seriously. Unless he starts revealing names and making confessions about himself, he shouldn't be listened to at all. Remember, all these guys took an oath to each other to keep their secrets. They are all trying to protect themselves at the end of the day. And since they all do dirt with each other, they have to protect one another. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.